um, the weather's been pretty shit for the last couple of weeks, so I haven't been able to get down in the boat. Pretty tragic. No fishing. Um, I'm running out of film for you guys, so I'm reverting to do other videos to keep entertained. We had a really big storm come through last night. And the weather's, yeah, it's pretty crap today. But I've decided to go out on a limb. Um, I'm going to drive two hours south from Mandra for those people who are not in as WA. Uh, south from Mandra to Buffington. They have a very big jetty there. Um, and it is known for catching some nice big snapper during the storm. So I'm going to go out of my comfort zone today and I'll be well and truly out of the comfort zone. I'll let you see in the video the weather is less than nice. Uh, I did invite Pop along. Pop just pretty much laughed and said he's staying at home. So I'm on my own. I'm going to drive two hours south, like I said, to Buffington. Uh, how long I fish? I don't know. Depends if I catch anything. But I'm going to give it a crack. I'm sick of sitting at home. So I hope you enjoy this video because I'm going to get wet. Just a bit blustery here at the moment, peeps. Check this out. I actually hope I don't get a fish on right now. No fish down the uh, back down there, about halfway back. So I've moved up to the next shelter, and we'll try our luck here. The weather's a little bit nicer already in here. Still pretty blowy. Water's pretty rough. All I need, all I need, is to catch myself a fish. All I want, one fish, can make the day worthwhile. How's that guys? One complete rainbow. Still no fish. No fish at the end of the rainbow guys. No fish at all. That's pretty fucking cool. Right. Got a rainbow. No fish yet. Typical salty dad style. Heck with that sunset guys. This is awesome. Oh, 
right guys, uh, last ditch effort, we're going right to the end, right to the end of the jetty, there's the jetty end, all the way down there, so I think it's a mile this jetty, I think it's about a mile long, uh, the weather seems to have got better, um, the last spot I stopped, too much weed and too much nibbly fish, so go to the end, I'll give it a bit of time here, and if I get no fish, well I'll go back to Mandarin to end it I suppose but can't say I haven't given it a bash guys so we'll see how we go alright guys a bit out here since about I suppose 1.30 it's now just after 6 o'clock got fished uh, 3 different spots on the jetty um, had a lot of storms come through and I just lost something on the big rod, uh, didn't have time to get the camera, don't think it was a snap or anything, but it felt more like a stingray or a shark to me, um, but you know, you know they say, the big one they got away, I don't know how the lighting's going, as well, but. so I'm going to walk about a mile back down this jetty, the weather doesn't look too bad, she's still blowing its tits off the cold, but I don't think it's raining. Yeah, I tried for you. I tried me damnedest. No fish, so that'll be another one of those fishing episodes for no fish. But, uh, yeah, I say I've got a probably a 40 minute walk down the jetty, pack my gear up, and a two hour trip home. So, grab a bit of takeaway on the way home. So, I don't even know how good this sound's going to be with this wind, so we'll see. Righto, that's the jetty walk back, about 1.8 kilometres, something like that. So we're back, another couple hundred metres, I'll be back to the car, pack me shit up, and drive home. Hope we'll find somewhere to eat. But to say one thing, I'm absolutely fucking knackered. When you go home, warm shower, sleep in, absolutely knackered. I'm just testing the low light, but just getting me KFC because that's got to get me home. Got about a two hour drive, got some chips and whatever, so that'll do me, guys. KFC's a good feed. No fish and chips tonight. Bugger it.